Bobby. What's your cheek, Allie? Hurry. The school candy sale starts today, and this year I'm old enough to be in it. Well, that's a real honor, hon. You must be prouder than a peacock's tail feather, don't you know? You know, being able to sell candy to help raise money for your school, well, that's just real exciting there now yet. Yeah, I'm excited because the kid who sells the most candy gets a pair of skates. Two things a kid's got to have are a dog and skates. And I've already got a dog. I'm, I'm going to sell all this candy, and then I'm going to win the skates. Forget it, Bobby. I'm going to sell more candy than anyone else, and I'm going to win the skates. Understand? No, I'm going to win. I am. No, you're not. Those skates are mine, Sir Robert of Generic. That's generic. And me thinks not, Marky the Melman. Thrust! Touché! On gun! Jump! Touché! Hurry! Hurry! At last! The skates are mine! All right, hold it right there. Uh uh uh. Shoving is not okay. We don't do that here. And remember, children, this candy sale is not about skates. And she calls herself a teacher. She's missing the whole point of the candy sale. It's about working hard and being responsible and raising money to get new playground equipment for our dear school. Now, any questions? Yes! Can I get the skates before I sell the candy? I'm gonna get skates. I'm gonna get skates. My goodness, Bobby. What's all this? It's my share of the candy sale. Your share? How are you ever gonna sell this much candy? The same way I build my milk carton city? Everybody's gonna help me! Oh, no way, Bobby. This time, you're on your own. And anyway, what could be better than the feeling of doing something all on your own? The feeling of new skates. <laughs> all right, son. Now that you have your candy, do you know what you're going to say when you try and sell it? Yep. Mrs. Orso already told us. Okay, then. Off to your room and practice your pitch. Okay. You know... That Bobby's gonna be one heck of a salesman. And why not? <laughs> He's just the son of the Scoshmore Pants Company's only three-time winner of the Golden Zipper Award. Oh, oh, for corn's sakes, Bobby, what happened here? I was practicing my pitch. When I said practice your pitch, Bobby, I meant sales pitch, not baseball pitch. Oh. You mean this stuff Mrs. Orso wrote down for us to say? You're supposed to help me memorize it. Ah, uh, truth to tell, Bobby, this speech is duller than your father's cousin Clifford. But I bet I can gee golly well fix it up. But, Mom, everybody's supposed to do it just like it says on the card. Well, now, Bobby, if everyone was jumping off a gee golly bridge, would you jump off too? I might if I was hot and I wanted to cool off. Now. If we change... Hello, my name is Bobby, too. And this g golly candy's really good, don't you know? So buy some for corn sakes. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> like, that speech is so totally bogus, you are going to sell zero candy. But I have to sell lots and lots. I want to win my skates. Look, dweeb, let me tell you how to do it. Bobby, like I am the one that Mom is making go with you to keep track of the moolah, so do it my way. Oh, and like, and like you really love this gnarly candy, don't you know? Like, like I mean, don't, don't be a dweeb, hon. For heart's sakes, get yours now. Yes, I'm ready. Like, as far
first vice president in charge of counting. I hereby call this meeting of the Bobby Candy Selling Company to order. And now, our leader, my baby brother, Bobby Jennerick. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the king of candy. <laughs> the man who has like totally sold more candy bars than anybody else in this whole wide world. Look, it's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's the king of candy. Oh, I'm so oh, oh, Sell us some candy, Bobby. Yeah, here's my money. I'm gonna win the skates. I'm gonna win the skates. I'm gonna win the skates. Oh. Kelly, come on! Oh, look at you. Go, 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 go stand next to your wagon. But, Mom, Mark is already... Now, hon, Mommy wants a picture. Oh, but, Mom... Say bees in the trees. Bees in the trees. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold the phone here now. You've got some something on your... Oh, it's... What is... Spit. There, now let's just get that little bird's nest out of there. There, that's better. Uh-oh, am I in trouble? Hello, my name is Bobby. I am selling candy for the Little Red Preschool. I have dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and almonds. They are a dollar. Thank you. Ah, it's for Little Red Preschool. Mm, uh, can I help you? Um, my name is... Um... There you go, little boy. Thanks, mister. Like, wait, Bobby! <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. And Bobby, please buy some, it's good. Like, girls don't sweat. They glow. Smells like sweat to me. <laughs> Come, children, step lightly. Oh, look. Bobby and Marky are doing so well, they've earned their own special thermometers. I sold two. I sold four. Now let's see how we all did. Your dad. Bobby, I, I thought I made it clear. This is your project. But, Dad, the Melmans are helping Marky. Well, son, if, if the Melmans jumped off a bridge, would you want me to jump off one, too? Now go get dressed. Why do they keep asking that bridge question? I'm never gonna win now. Marky Melman's gonna get my skates. <laughs> hey, why so glum, Babo? Bob won't help me sell candy. He says I gotta do it myself. Well, I'm sure your dad has a good reason for what he's doing. How come? Huh, beats me. 
But if you really want to skate, so you can get them. I can? Hello. My name is Bobby. I am selling candy for... Oh, oh, stop right there, little fella. Didn't you see the sticker on my door? I got mine from Melman. Uh-oh. Dad, Zooks! Mom's running late, kid. She asked me to drive Bobby to school. You want to ride, Kelly? Uh, and let my friends see me driving to school with my father? Like, I would rather eat dirt, okay? I try and I try, but everywhere I go, there's a Melman sticker. <laughs> it's not the end of the world, Bobbo. All you need is a bigger territory. Okay. What's that ter territory? That's a place where you sell your stuff in. Uh, a bigger one means you get more places to sell your candy. But Mrs. Orso said we're supposed to stay in our neighborhood. Hey, Bobbo, if Mrs. Orso jumped off a bridge, would you do it too? What bridge? Hey, Howard, I'm making some sales calls myself tomorrow. What say Bobby comes with me? Can, can I, Dad? Can I, please? Please? Oh, okay. As long as you do the selling yourself, Bobby. I will. I promise. Okay, then. You can go. Here we are. See you tomorrow, Uncle Ted. I'm gonna get a big territory. I'm gonna get my skates after all. Selling novelty items is a pretty great job, Bobbo. Yeah, Uncle Ted? You know, there's nothing in the world like the great feeling you get from selling people a lot of stuff they don't need. Just stick with me, Bobbo, and you'll be skating by Sunday. Now, hand me some of those foam rubber potatoes that look like Nixon, would you? We got some selling to do, Bobbo. Here's the place I was talking about, Bobbo. I'm telling you, it's a gold mine. Hello, my name is Bobby. Can't eat it! Anybody want to buy some candy? Can't eat it! And I have dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and almonds too? Bobbo, Bobbo! Uncle Ted, shh! These people don't want your candy, Bobbo. How can you tell, Uncle Ted? Yeah, because I can read and you can't. Mines who buy from Melman. Oh, gee, Bobbo, I feel rotten. I sold two cases of barking ants and a gross of glow-in-the-dark dress shields, and you didn't sell a thing. Don't feel bad, Uncle Ted. Pat says that you shouldn't help me, and you didn't. Forget about the candy sale for a while, Bobbo. Hey, let's watch a little TV, huh? Well, what do we have here? And here he is, folks, the host of Amazing Nougat Discoveries, Marky Melman! Anybody want to buy some candy? I'll take one! I'll take three! No, I'll Four take ten! Oh, the kid's got his own infomercial. Oh, <laughs> now that's a bummer. Uh, now I'll never get my skates. <laughs> Come on, cheer up, Bobbo! Why? Because uh, you're not the one who's sitting in candy. <laughs> oh, nah, that, that's a stain. That looks like what, about uh, eight bars? Here, here, let me pay you for what's stuck to my pants. Thanks, Uncle Ted. Uh, Bobby, the twins got into your candy, so here's four dollars. Wow! Hey, Dweeb, here's for the candy bars I accidentally ran over. Thanks, bro. Look out, Doc! Uh, okay, so like, you know Tiffany and Andrea, right? Okay, they came over and they totally devoured Mom's cheesy prune whip, and then they scarfed a bunch of your candy bars. So like, here. Thanks, Kelly! Bobby! Uh-oh. Some of your candy was on the kitchen counter and Roger ate it, so I'm paying you for it. Thanks, Dad. Thanks! No, don't thank me. I'm just paying a debt. I'm not I'm not helping. If my family keeps not helping me, I'm gonna win those skates in no time. Please take your seats. 
In a few minutes, we will announce the winner of this year's candy sale. You're just in time, boys. It's a toy! Brother, Funny Bono, I bet you like to buy a candy bar. That'll be one dollar, please. I got you, babe. Oh, no! Oh, oh, Mark, he's winning! What am I gonna do? It's Diet Dave, the guy who wants to make everybody thin. He's our school's most famous aluminum. He, he wants a candy bar. Excuse me, will you buy two candy bars for me, please? Sure, little guy. Yay! I'm gonna win! Oh, sorry, I'm all out of dessert wheel a meal stickers. But I could buy a yam. Never mind. Oh, and the winner of this year's candy sale is... Marky Nelma! They look kind of big. They do? Sorry, Gretel. Too big. No sale. Nope. Next. <laughs> it's this. I have a really big feet, Marky. You know what that means. What? That I can wear skates if they're too big for you. Forget it, generic. They fit fine. Besides, I'm gonna need them to help me win the pretzel competition. I'm gonna skate door to door and win the grand prize trip to Reptile Land. There's gonna be a pretzel competition? I want a pretzel, Marky! Cheer up, son. I've got a surprise for you. You do? What is it? A pair of skates. You worked really hard on that candy drive. You earned them. Gee, thanks. Oh, that's the greatest. Bobby, come on. We're going out for burgers in honor of all the hard work you did. Dad, how come everybody's been so nice? I still lost. Well, sure you did, son. But you lost all by yourself, huh? Saul, what say ya? Ready to go out for some burgers there now yet? Okay, that would that would be great. But can we stop by the bridge first? Why do Why do you want to go to the bridge? Cause I want to see what all the excitement's about. Well, for lunch meets and picnics, Howard, where does he get those gee golly crazy ideas? I don't know, Martha. I just don't know. <laughs> Another great show. Hey, Bobby, you learn anything about salesmanship? I sure did. I just made a hundred dollars. Wow. Well, would you sell for a hundred dollars? Your car. Bye, everybody. Ha, 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 ha.